Hello, today I'm going to show you how to fill letter shapes with link threaded text. First open a new document and select the type tool. This works best with bold fonts. Now click on the artboard and type your word. Next click on the selection tool to select the whole word. Then go to the Align panel and choose Horizontal and Vertical Align Center. Let's copy this layer, turn off the visibility of the bottom layer, now swap the fill and the stroke and change the stroke to a different color. We will use it later. Let's lock the top layer and turn off its visibility. Then. Turn the visibility of the bottom layer back on and make sure the layer is selected. In order to fill this word with text, we need to expand it and release a compound path. To do that, first go to Object and choose Expand. Now right click with your mouse and select Ungroup. Using the Direct Selection tool, Select all the letters without the open spaces. Then go to Object, Compound Path and choose Release. Now select the letter O, which has one open space. Then go to the Knife tool and holding down the Alt key make a straight cut. Now switch to the Direct Selection tool, click on the artboard to deselect and you are ready to fill this word with text. To do that, first click on the Type tool, hold and select the Area Type tool. Then click on the first character. Let's change the font to Arial, the style to Italic and the size to 0.125. Now copy and paste any text that you want to use for your project. To thread the text from one letter shape to the other, first click on the selection tool and then click on the small red plus sign that indicates overflowing text. Notice that the cursor changed to a text symbol. Now click on the top of the next character and the text will automatically be threaded onto the next shape. Let's move to the next character and do the same. Click on the plus sign and when the cursor changes to a text symbol, click on the top of the next letter. And again. Next, we will distribute the text evenly. To do that, open the paragraph window. Now select Justify all lines. Let's say we want to change the direction of text in the letter O, for example. To do that, first turn on the visibility of the copied text layer we've created at the beginning. Then, using the Direct Selection tool, select the text. Now, using the Free Transform tool, click on the corner of this bounding box and rotate it to get a desired angle. Next, we need to adjust the red path line to match the profile of the blue outline text. To do that, use the Direct Selection tool Click on the anchor point and move it up or down. Then adjust the Bezier handles to get a better fit. Finally, turn off the visibility of the layer with the outline text. Remove the unwanted hidden text. If you like, you can add a background or change the text color. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.